Hi, it's Maggie the Irish Gypsy here to bring you your October 2018 general reading. Your cards are jumping all over the place, Cancer. <laughs> thank you for joining us here today and welcome to any newcomers. Uh, and thank you for those of you who continue to uh, listen, uh, like, share, subscribe, follow my YouTube channel wherever I'm at. Uh, as most of you who follow me know, I'm, I like to travel quite a bit. I am still actually in Europe uh, at this time. I am recording these in the last few days of September. Uh, so by the time you see them around the 1st of October, so I will be back home in California. Uh, so thank you for those of you who continue to follow me wherever I'm at and to my clients too, both regular and new for continuing to always keep me busy wherever I'm at. Uh, my thanks to you. It's an honor and a pleasure to read for all of you. If any of you are interested in a personal one-on-one -on -one reading with me, you can get more information and my contact details by either going to my YouTube channel's homepage, clicking on that little about button, or you can uh, click on the description bar of any of the videos I post uh, for more information and my contact details, please feel free to email me directly at Maggie, the number one McGuire at gmail.com. I'd be delighted to work with you. I can usually respond within the first 24 hours of your initial contact. And turnaround time for readings is pretty fast too, as I do readings full time, five to six days a week. It is what I do. I do a wide variety of readings. So uh, if you're interested, give me an email and we'll set something up for you and go from there. Uh, please excuse uh, me if I sound a bit hoarse. I am at the very tail end of a cold. I'm feeling pretty good, but I still sound a little bit like a frog, so sorry about that. All right, let's move right into this. This reading is for the water sign of Cancer. Our lovely Cancerians are crabs for the month of October 2018. Uh, if you know your rising and moon sign, watch those as well for additional clarification. General readings always vary a little bit uh, depending on who's watching them. All right, Cancer, let's see what's in store for you for the month of October 2018. <clears throat> we begin with the Nine of Wands, followed by Strength. We have the Five of Pentacles, followed by the Ace of Cups. The King of Cups, followed by the Seven of Pentacles. The Star, followed by the Seven of Wands. And from the bottom of the deck, your overall energy and guidance is the King of Wands. Your focus and energy is the King of Wands. <clears throat> so it looks like Cancer, uh, similar to some of the fire signs. Uh, this could be just a general energy for most of the signs, which manifests in different degrees of intensity, especially post uh, uh, full moon, things are finally moving out of a place where they may have been stuck or stagnant, or you've been kind of like maybe uh, waffling between doing one thing or the other things I think are moving out of that place now um, and you're pushing through um, I think the very tail end of something uh, and that's the advice I see here too. Uh, we begin with the Nine of Wands followed by Strength. This is all about pushing through. The Nine of Wands uh, represents uh, pushing through the last bit of something, even if it feels like, you know, this is something that's been lasting a long time. In uh, the tarot, tens represent cycles ending, uh, something coming to an end or to a culmination point where it transitions into something else. And you can see this soldier, uh, this is a soldier, he's dressed for battle. What do soldiers do? They fight battles, they struggle with challenges. Uh, and he's been through quite a few and he's tired, he wants to be done and he's thinking he's almost done. But this group of wands behind him represents, you know, uh, maybe a, a, an unexpected or last minute obstacle, uh, hurdle, challenge, or or delay of some kind, and he's withdrawn. Uh, sometimes the energy of this card is, oh my gosh, am I ever going to get through this, or are we still going to keep going through these problems over and over again, whether it's maybe in a job or work situation or a relationship. It's like, uh, do I have the strength to get through this? Should I get through this? But the uh, but it's the 11th hour card as I always look at the nine of wands. This is a card of, you know, it's darkest before dawn and the accompanying advice is almost always to push through. You're closer than you think to reaching uh, at the end of a cycle of something. So push through and that's even uh, more underscored by its clarifying and accompanying card, which is strength. Uh, because it's it takes a lot of strength to push through things. And it's also what you acquire more of by going through that process. Strength represents uh, facing your fears, your doubts, your insecurities. That's what this card means. It's not, you know, the look at my muscles, wave your sword around uh, kind of strength. It's, it's about 
wrestling with your demons, which is what the lion represents, whatever that might be for you, uh, facing fears, doubts, insecurities, maybe aspects of yourself or habits that you have that you don't like. Uh, having the strength and courage and, and humility and insight to look at those and walk through them and deal with them and come out the other side uh, with your head held high in motion, striding forward uh, courageously as she is doing, having tamed uh, this lion, uh, dealt with the aspects, the things that she needed to dealt with and making peace with the rest and moving forward, uh, facing your fears, your doubts, your insecurities, wrestling with your demons and pushing through something. So definitely a very strong message at the end of September, beginning of October Cancer. Uh, push through uh, whatever it is that uh, you, you may feel. It could be some unexpected thing that's happened in uh, a relationship uh, or a, a job or work path situation. You know, in general readings, it's going to resonate in one area of, uh, of your life or for somebody else, it may resonate in another area of your life. But the fundamental energy and advice always remains the same. Uh, it may feel like it's just maybe something else has come up or happened which is just more of the same and you're wondering oh i'm so tired I, I don't know you know how do i get through this should i get through this do i have the strength to get through this or deal with this uh, whether it's dealing with it or moving away from it there may be some fears and doubts and insecurities about it but it's about facing those and moving through those and beyond now next to that we have the five of pentacles with the ace of cups uh, again, a similar message for some of you. The Five of Pentacles can be a card that represents insufficiency and lack, but missing something which might be right in front of you or right in your environment. Uh, you can see this couple is portrayed in, in the on the in the front of this uh, uh, church or cathedral building, and this golden light is shining out between them. Now, the light represents, as everything on a tarot card is representative of something or symbolic of something, the light represents... Um, what they might need uh, to fix whatever's wrong. Uh, they're, they're often portrayed as maybe needy or homeless, you know, sometimes in the rain or the snow on in other tarot decks. So it re represents perhaps needing something or feeling like you don't have enough of something. It could be, you know, money, being out of a job, finances, uh, or in an emotional way, it can represent maybe feeling you know, abandoned, rejected, not good enough. Uh, but sometimes in relationship cards, it can also represent and I feel like it does for a lot of you, especially because it's right next to that nine of wands push through card. It can represent, you know, kind of sticking it out the hard times, sticking through the hard times through thick and thin, but also realizing that there's something there which you might be missing. Uh, and now in relationships, this could represent that you may be going through a difficult time in your relationship right now. And spirit is asking you to just kind of push through this bit, just kind of stick it out. It, it, you're, all, you're very close to either a cycle coming to an end or transitioning into something else because the five of pentacles can also represent in relationships whether it's romantic or friendship or family wise sticking together through thick and thin but sometimes pay attention to the light too because the light can represent that you may be missing something uh, which could be of help or just missing the opportunity if you're feeling like running away from something or leaving something behind that there's something there um, that's still worth staying and fighting for uh, and there could be a new renewal, uh, a new opportunity, or something there which could open up a pathway um, uh, towards making this situation better if you just reach out for it or look for it uh, or just stick it out. Because the Five of Pentacles is accompanied by the Ace of Cups too, which represents... Uh, the heart opening up again, a new emotional renewal. Aces always represent uh, the number one, so they represent the start of something or a new, the beginning of a new path or the opportunity to begin something new. Cups is water energy, it's emotions, feelings, and also the area of our life that deals with relationships. Sometimes this can represent new love and romance in a romantic relationship or uh, an emotional renewal in an already established relationship, you know, like going through the hard times and then, you know, you're coming out into an, a new phase. Uh, committed relationships uh, can often be that way. Well, are always that way. You go through ups and downs, and sometimes it's just about keeping your head down and kind of slogging through the tough times. And I feel that's the case for some of you. Uh, it can represent emotional renewal, too. It, it might represent new love and romance for some of you, but I'm not feeling that uh, much at all. Uh, in uh, work, career, and finance, this can also uh, represent that you may be going through a difficult time in terms of finances right now. Money might be tight. 
Uh, some of you might be unemployed and like applying and applying and applying and it doesn't seem like anything's coming through but something is perhaps coming through for you around the corner and again it's a question about sticking something out because you're right on the verge of a, a change coming in and I actually feel like you're in the middle of a transitional change and again it could be that post uh, full moon energy I feel like something maybe has been stuck or in a very slow period where it seems like there's no movement, whether it's in the job work career part of your life or the relationship part of your life. And I feel like you're moving through, uh, most of you, kind of the very tail end of that. Uh, but again, there's a sense of maybe something, you're not seeing everything. Uh, now in job work and career, if you're unemployed and looking for work, you may want to maybe look at applying for maybe some different types of jobs or jobs that you might think you wouldn't get or you may think of looking at the skill set you have, or what you know how to do, and, and applying for other jobs that that skill set uh, might also fit rather than what you've just been oriented on. Um, uh, in relationships, whether they're romantic or otherwise, in personal relationships or friendships, it also looks like, you know, you may have been going through a bit of a tough time. You may have been in this period where it felt like there wasn't any movement where you wanted movement. Um, again, you're being asked to kind of not make a decision to leave just yet, uh, but n it's not just about staying and enduring and feeling bad either. It looks like there may be something or someone in your environment, an opportunity to have uh, maybe some resolvement and some emotional renewal within an already existing relationship. The Five of Pentacles can sometimes represent that this help might come from a third party source that might come from, you know, a, a spiritual mentor, advisor, or a priest, or a pastor, or a counselor, or something of that sort, or uh, a community that's associated in that way. <coughs> Excuse me. I am actually feeling quite well. It's just, you know, when you're at the tail end of a cold and that hoarseness just keeps lasting. Makes me sound froggy. Okay, so next to that we have the... Sorry, I just got some other uh, message in about being action-oriented and intentional. So it is about pushing through, but it's not about just sitting and enduring a tough time. It's also about doing what you can during that time to not give up, to use the tools you know, or maybe uh, other resources. Again, you know, if it's a job work career situation and you're not happy with where you're at there, or something is not, there's a sense of insufficiency about it, um, take a look at exploring other uh, options that appear to be somewhere in your environment um, it could be uh, looking for another job other than the one that you have or looking for other opportunities within your current job or work environment or other jobs rather than the types that you've been applying for that would might fit your skill set as well that you previously hadn't thought about applying for the same with relationships that may be going through difficulty it looks like there's some source of additional help uh, uh, but definitely to 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 not give up um, and to keep exploring and acting on every option that you can because I'm getting being more action oriented as well. So next we have the King of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles. The King of Cups is water energy, water sign, individual, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Rising. I feel like for most of you this is just you uh, uh, manifesting uh, exactly who you are or needing to manifest exactly who you are. Kings and Queens represent individuals who've reached the mastery of their suit. And this is a water sign just like you are, Cancer. Um, it could also be another water sign uh, or somebody who's manifesting like the King of Cups, male or female, that's significant uh, in your life uh, this month as well. Somebody that you may be in, have some kind of personal connection or relationship with. But for a lot of you, I feel like it's, it's actually just you. Uh, there's a sense of emotional stability about the King of Cups because kings and queens have reached um, a, an understanding and a balanced maturity uh, with the character traits inherent to their suit. This is Cups, so it's emotional feeling energy. So the King of Cups is somebody who's, uh, you know, grown and matured and evolved beyond the page and the knight energy. And they're emotionally stable people. They're also people who are able to uh, not only just be loving and nurturing, but be emotionally stable. Uh, the King and, and Queen of Cups often can keep their heads when uh, situations uh, in, in the environment around them might be chaotic or very up and down. 
Um, and even though they have their bad days too, uh, uh, the king and the queen of cups represent people who are individuals who are emotionally stable and can often uh, still see things uh, clearly and rationally, but still in a loving and nurturing way. Uh, even when the situation around them is might be imbalanced or chaotic in some way. This King of Cups is, uh, in other tarot decks, sometimes uh, portrayed as sitting on his throne in the midst of a body of water, and all around him the water is very choppy and wavy, but he's sitting on his throne very calm, cool, collected, somebody whom other people uh, rely on during difficult times, sometimes called the King of Cool. Uh, so I feel like for, it's, it's advice for some of you, just manifesting uh, what is more easily inherent to you than than signs of other elements as well. But for some of you, it could be another water sign that's significant to you. Now, it's accompanied by the Seven of Pentacles, which is a card of reflection and assessment. It's a card that represents looking at the harvest that you have, what you have in your life related to this area of your life, and looking at the work you've put into something uh, to nurture it and help it grow and develop, and asking yourself if what you what you currently have out of what your your efforts have been have put into. Uh, did that make sense at all? Uh, it's harvest time on this card. This woman has planted the seeds and she's done all the work to grow this tree and the fruit on this tree and now it's ready to be picked. So she's she's pausing for a moment before harvesting and looking at, you know, what do I have? How much effort did I put into it? Did I get everything that my effort, that I thought my efforts would? Did I get less? Did I get more? And making, uh, and maybe thinking about uh, what she might want to do in the future based on this. You know, reflection, assessment, uh, motives, taking a look at what you have in relation to this situation, whether it's a job, work, career, or financial area of your life, or whether it's the relationship uh, part of your life. You're being asked to kind of, uh, uh, you, you may be going through a, a bit of a challenging time right now, but I feel like it's the tail end of a challenging time. And you're, you're, you're looking at what you have, what you've invested in it, and, uh, and not allowing your emotions to kind of get the better of you, meaning, you know, uh, stay emotionally stable when you're looking at what you've put into this, uh, particularly if it has to do with a relationship that's more personal or romantic in nature. Um, okay, so we're going through a tough time right now, uh, but what does this relationship really look like? Um, how much do we have we put into this? Uh, where are we going? Are we just going through a hard time right now and not making any decisions based on, uh, you know, based purely on emotions and feelings, which is always a dangerous thing to do, whether it's in relationships or in work, career, and finances too. Now, but you're being asked kind of in the month of October to kind of consider these things and not make a snap decision, particularly in ending something just quite yet. Uh, it might be necessary for some of you. Some of you it just might be going through a rough patch and sticking it out. Now, at or towards the end of October 2018, we have the star and the seven of wands. So again, this is a very similar message about having uh, having hope and faith in renewal about something, uh, which is what the star is. The star is kind of the guiding light in the darkness. It represents an almost childlike uh, uh, hope and faith, but it's renewed hope and faith, meaning I usually see the star card show up after a period of darkness or challenge or difficulty or depression, kind of winter into spring, darkness into light, sickness into health kind of energy. Uh, and it's when you begin to feel hopeful again and have a renewed sense of optimism optimism and faith in the path that you're on. Um, it's a card about trusting in divine timing and orchestration, knowing that as long as you stay on the path and you give your all to the path, you keep hanging in there and doing everything that you know to be the right thing to do, not just sitting and complaining and not doing anything, but actually putting one foot in the other and, and keep uh, working uh, on what you're working on, that um, divine timing and orchestration will lead you towards a path of joy and fulfillment, which is why this woman is emptying her pitchers of water out into the reservoir she's kneeling on in, in perfect faith and confidence that she's not holding anything back because she has faith and confidence that when she needs replenishment, it will be because the source itself is limitless. Uh, it's one of the wish fulfillment cards and it's card of trusting the path that you're on and trusting that as long as you do your part and you do everything that you can, um, that it's going to pay off for you, that it's going to work in some way because of divine timing and orchestration, even if it feels discouraging right now and even if you can't see how the path plays out. And that's uh, further underscored again by its clarifying card, which is the Seven of Wands, which is a, it's a defensive card. It's a card of defending that which you have worked a lot 
uh, at or have invested a lot in. You can see this man is standing in front of the door to his, his castle, his home, his keep, or whatever it is that he feels strongly about because he has so much invested into it. And he is protecting it, guarding it, defending it. Uh, and this card, as all cards, uh, tarot cards, can have a variety of different definitions based on the surrounding cards and what the psychic is channeling also. But I feel particularly for you in this spread, Cancer. I mean, the Seven of Wands is next to the Ten of Pentacles, looking at what you have, looking at what the work that you've put into it, uh, defending what you've put into it, and having, uh, staying emotionally grounded and stable, having renewed sense of hope, faith, and optimism, uh, that there's an emotional renewal or renewal coming for you having the strength and courage and insight and wisdom but it's also about more than just sometimes it's just about toughing out the tough times and kind of slogging through those but it's not enough just to kind of you know yes stick it out tough it out and keep walking but the point is is that you need to keep trying to make it better you need to keep doing what you know to do and you might want to take a look around and explore what other options or resources there might be to help uh, maybe a relationship during difficult times whether it's seeking third-party help or in job work career finances seeking third-party help or looking in an area where you haven't previously looked at um, uh, to find other options and resolutions which is your crowning card represents that on an energetic level too fire energy the king of wands leo aries sagittarius energy never gives up always finds a way finds a solution delegates or uh, figures out maybe that he needs to leave something behind and start something new but but always finding that plan and finding that way and being very action oriented and intentional it could also represent a Leo Aries Sagittarius person Sun Moon or rising male or female uh, but very uh, you know dynamic strong energetic person which is also influential or significant for you uh, in the month of uh, October uh, it could be another aspect of you that you're being asked to manifest I think for some of you water and fire energy but in a in a in a king energy or a queen energy meaning um, uh, a stable mastery of those character traits as well but being action oriented and intentional and moving forward and doing everything that you can uh, in the situation not just kind of waiting for it to change but sticking in there and doing everything that you can so cancer that pretty much wraps up your october 2018 general reading i hope that uh, you enjoyed it or found it helpful again if any of you are interested in a more personal one-on-one -on -one reading with me you can get more information in my contact details by uh, going to my youtube channel's homepage and clicking on the little about button uh, or clicking on the description bar of all the videos any of the videos that i post please feel free to email me directly at maggie the number one mcguire at gmail.com i'd be delighted to work with you uh, and set up a reading as quickly as possible turnaround time is usually anywhere from a few days upper of a couple of weeks but almost always within a couple of weeks or so we can set something up for you i do love and romance of course compatibility charting reconciliation spreads career work and finance and i also do uh, investment readings uh, channeled messages from past on loved ones and six and 12 month overviews which take a look at what's coming in your life and all the main areas uh, over a six or 12 month period of time depending on how far ahead you want to look uh, and holidays are coming up too uh, and I always get a lot of uh, uh, requests and orders for gift readings for um, uh, family and friends during the holiday season so that might be something to think about as well uh, you can also find me on the smartphone app instant go under iris gypsy and that link is also provided so cancer I will see you all again in a couple of weeks for the October 2018 mid-month readings and until then as always I wish you joy peace blessings and a happy life take care and I hope to see you back here again soon bye-bye